My buddy Dave has got this really awesome Tollycraft 44. I've made several trips on it with him. The only problem with the boat is, is he had some really big problems with his lighting. I mean, the lighting in it was horrible, it was very dark, very dim in there at night, and it really wasn't great underway. Now Dave's been one of my good friends out here. So I was happy to jump on his boat, happy to help him do a little of this. Uh, th this project was done over a couple of months through the winter here, just when I had time. We'd go in and do a little bit of work on it. And so this is the footage from that job. I hope you enjoy. So here we are uh, doing a little work on Dave's boat today. I got the old lights that were in here pulled out. Uh, what this was is like on the other side here. Uh, it's just a fluorescent fixture. I'll set down below so you guys can see this. There's a fluorescent fixture that just has a cover over it. Dave's got a really nice tolly craft here, but it had these old fluorescent lights in it here that just did not light up the kitchen at all. And so uh, we're gonna go in and change that and I'll show you in a minute what we're working with. So here's, uh, we just got one of these panels put together here. You see how we run these, it's just some stick on. We've got uh, four whites and two red strips on there, four foot long of these LEDs. I'm gonna step on down here. You can see, that's the old light, new light. You, you can just see the difference in the, in the light that they produce. It, it's pretty amazing. And uh, yeah, it kind of gives you a good, you know, I know that this is blotting it out here. But these steps here, I mean, you can actually see everything that's going on down here. It was very poor visibility before, and that's actually why we're doing this job. So now we've got the one that goes over here. We've also got a red in there. And I will show that to you guys in a bit. You see here what we're removing. Uh, these are just the uh, old fluorescent lights. It's a 12 volt fluorescent. Uh, I mean, they're probably a lot brighter when they're new. Plus the one's missing a bulb. It's probably even no good because I mean the cover's pulled off. It looks like someone's been working on it, but we're gonna go ahead, pull all that out and then get this done up right. So here's the uh, LEDs working in there and I'm pretty happy with how that looks. We'll walk down here and uh, don't have, we have to modify this housing so I don't have the switch in here yet, but I, I replaced it, had a one switch in here, replaced it with a two. I'll kick these off and then the other switch turns these on red, which gives you a really nice amount of light up here. And uh, step back from the helm, you can, you can still see out of the boat really well. You've got real good visibility even with that red light on. So this is a little light we took out of the back here, which it worked okay. I mean, it just wasn't a huge amount of light because it's a pretty small fixture. It was just sat up in here like this. And the problem with just having the light sitting in here is the distance to the diffusion is not very far. So you just get a basically a very you know bright light right there in one spot. And then as soon as you move out of it, nothing. So by spreading that distance out a lot, you get a lot more light. What we've got here are these super bright LEDs. Um, they're a UL listed, uh, 12 volt DC natural white, uh, five meter long strip of lights. We're going to be taking these and putting these on a substrate and then putting them back up in there. This is the piece that we're going to be replacing this with up here. Excuse me, Alex. I'll set this down here. And uh, this is just some, uh, oh, what the hell is this called? This is fiberboard here. And uh, it's got a sort of like a paint-like surface on it here. I guess it's just a high gloss paint on one side, but this is what we're using for the back reflector that we're sticking to on the substrate there. Up here, here's what we got. Uh, got these things in place. You can see those LED strips are just up in there. I haven't finished tying up the wiring over here yet. I still gotta shrink the connectors. Uh, we're still waiting for a red, which we're gonna stick down the middle, but uh, turn these on. And, oh man, those are nice and bright. Look at that. And when I come back over here, you can see it lights up the couch even i mean that's that's how much light this thing puts out now it doesn't have the diffuser on it yet obviously i got this little uh, switch setup we put in over here and so you turn that on and you got light through there uh, you can see how much light that gives and that's a good 12 volt light now what I did with this light here is i got these two switches on the side so if i switch this that light comes off the other one bam that comes on red so what do you think dave did it come out good we like it it provides a lot of ambient light we didn't have Excuse me, Dave. Up here, we got these uh, two switches under here as well that control these lights up here. So I kick that off, turn that back on. That comes back on as red all the way across there. It gives you a really nice navigation light. And turn that back onto the white. And then the switch below it here is these uh, under cabinet lights. And uh, I'll just kind of show you here. You can see 
how much light those things produce. I mean, the camera is kind of adjusting, but you can see it really lights that up there nice. So you could see, and uh, Jean was telling me how much she really likes that. Little lights that we took out of there, they're just a little uh, 12 volt fixture, one single bulb in there. And then it's got this little uh, bezel here that goes up over the top of this here. And uh, these were mounted up on the roof right here. And they were not great. These new lights here, they have a way bigger surface area, put out a lot more light. Check this out, this is really cool. We got the, the blue lights going on up in here and I absolutely love the way this came out. These, these are great. Really makes the back of the boat glow there. I really like the way that looks. Really happy with how all this blue up here in the helm turned out. I mean, it just gives it a really nice glow all the way around. One of the last things to show is uh, I installed uh, these lights up here on the bridge. Now, these are just a standard marker light for a trailer. So we just took these and uh, zip tied them up in place. And then I ran the wiring down the side here back and then down through the side and in and that worked out incredibly well and those are just fed into a switch up here and then the switch here feeds the blue lights around the floor also we installed these uh, usb plugs and these things worked out incredibly well i really like these things and then there's one more of those over here on the port side if you happy with it i i think uh what this adds is a safety dimension most importantly to the boat if you are uh, operating at night, the ability to be able to see without breaking nighttime vision is critical. And uh, to move about uh, in the darkness with red light, uh, it enables safety and the ability to do things like cooking in the galley, that sort of thing.